Yo, this is probably my 400th video on how to make cider with your EBT card. Well, I don't know if you can make. I don't know if you can buy this with your EBT card, but just some principles here. This is this is some fancy yeast from some fancy place. It's actually made made that kind of wine. Um, you can make five gallons with this. They don't sell gallons anymore, thanks to gentrification, other issues going on in America. It's three quarts of a gallon. So imagine this is like less than a half a gram of this, since it's five grams. And focus up. Oh, there we go. Oh, you know. Anyways, um, hi Mason. I know you're watching. Okay, here we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and start off first by opening up our apple juice. We pour some in here. I already did that. Just some extra apple juice. Then we're gonna do this thing I'm working on is adding some sugar. We have to little, add a little extra sugar, right? Mm -hmm. This is a really messy kitchen because I'm trying to show you how to do it in your house. This isn't my house, this is the friend's house. Okay, get ready. Let's go. Here we go. The thing about the apple juice cider trick is no one shows you on YouTube. Is they don't show you that. They tell you you can make this into this plus this equals cider. But that's some piss ass weak cider. You want to make some strong cider. Get yourself some brown sugar. And put that shit in your goddamn apple juice, okay? Don't be shy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm hmm Come on, let's going. I would normally measure this and be all scientific, but today, I'm not really playing that role. Okay. Let's see where we're at here. Okay, well, we still got some room, so. I don't know how much is in there, you know, it's a lot, right? Okay, well, let's see. Let's keep this going. Let's pause this, okay? Okay, see, I put a bunch of sugar in there and I mixed it up now. Next, I'm going to pour in this tube I have right here. You can see where we're at. This part, we're going to actually use something to call the hydrometer. It's not pretty old. It's actually made for um, making beer. So it doesn't actually go as high as I'd like it to go. It maxes out around nine. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna stick it straight in there, can we? Shit, we could stick it straight in there. Okay, I decided to just stick it in the bottle just to save the trouble of it, but it's hard to read from here, but it's like I can tell. Let's see. Mm hmm. No matter how I put that hydrometer in, it always seems to turn around where I can't see it. But I'm guessing it's right there. Oh, we're actually at a... Well, we're floating around a 10, so... <sighs> it's good to note that number. That's a good, that's a good amount of sugar. Mmm. <laughs> let's get some yeast. So what we have, what we have over here is we actually have the yeast and a little bit of water. And we're hydrating it. Basically, it's coming back to life after being dry. It's pretty cool because real fast it changes. We're gonna go ahead and go and just do a little check how it's doing. Uh-huh. A little more hydration time. I put a half a gram in there. 
which would be for a gallon. It's a little high. I'm supposed to be have a full gallon of apple juice, but I did put a lot of sugar in there, so. The, 10, the number 10 that I got on my hydrometer when I'm finished should give me about 10% alcohol. Um, how I know it's finished? I'll have to keep checking it as it goes clear in about, I don't know, a week or so. Hold on, let me put this in. Now I just put it away for a while, you know. Forget about it. For about 30 days would be 30 days would be a good amount of time. Alright, now I'm gonna clean the kitchen.